Hey Raider Nation, it's Joseph here for Zenny62. So this uh, particular video that I wanted to upload really has more to do with the NFL and one specific player is not necessarily the Raiders, but I'll tie in the Raiders into this conversation. And that is of Buffalo wide receiver Cole Beasley. Now, if you're aware of what's been going on in Twitter, uh, he sent out what he called a public service announcement, basically denouncing the COVID-19 vaccine. Uh, he went on to say, I think, some really troublesome remarks. You know, I'm going to paraphrase what I initially thought of it or give you ideas of what he said, and I'll show you uh, some of the quotes that he had. But, uh, you know, one of the things that struck me was in that Twitter rant, he stated that he'd rather die than prohibit him from living his life. Which, if you dissect that statement, it's utterly stupid. Because when you could prevent yourself from getting an illness that may potentially kill you, why wouldn't you take every effort or every step to avoid that so you know Cole Beasley has this thing that it's his freedoms and all this political BS that is kind of perpetrating uh, this mentality and this stupidity that's going around the country is that well I don't have it now why would I inject myself with something well let me ask you this unless you were raised in a different country than the United States you were vaccinated for several things when you went to elementary school and when you went to school. Where, how is this any different? This is an opportunity for you to not only prevent yourself from getting sick, but preventing you spreading the virus to other people who may not be as healthy as you are. But the fact that you potentially may have it in your body may be asymptomatic, meaning you're not showing any signs, but you're carrying the viral load and you pass it on to somebody who's not as healthy as you are and potentially giving that person the virus with the potentiality of killing them. How selfish can you be? Because along with his Twitter rant, he goes on to say that he has his values and so forth, kind of bringing up this whole moral issue. Well, what does your values tell you? That it's all about me and who cares about anybody else? Because I only think about myself and not about the rest of my family, the rest of my neighbors, my fellow men, that you're going to potentially spread this disease to other people? Is that what your values tell you? Because if you're going to be on a soapbox preaching how you have these high moral values, what moral value is it when you could potentially give somebody a virus that will kill them? Especially when you could easily prevent it. There's a reason why the NFPA, which is always in conflict, it seems, lately with the NFL, are both in agreement with the fact that every player should have this opportunity to get vaccinated and they're encouraging that they do so. It's very stupid that you would say that this is a personal choice and it didn't affect anybody else. It is your personal choice, but guess what? If you want to make that decision, also keep in mind that you're potentially hurting other people. And if you don't want to take the virus, that's fine. Stay in your little box. Don't play football. Don't potentially spread it to other people or maybe even the fans you know you have some buffalo uh bills fans that might want to give you a high five that might come close to you and you might spread it to them so to me to kind of indicate this whole vaccination thing has taken on this political bs rant that's trying to justify not taking the vaccine for whatever reason, you know, it's just the the explosion of reading things online and hearing these political pundits who have their own personal agenda telling you not to take it because then you're succumbing to the greater masses who believe scientists, 
who believe health officials, who believe doctors, that this is the right thing to do. Now you think about this in our history, in our society, that if we had this stupidity mindset going when there was polio, when there was smallpox, and other diseases that are currently non-existent because of the creation of vaccines. You want to create a society that every single day of their lives, they have to be worried about catching a virus that's going to kill them, potentially kill them. But you have to be the one on your soapbox making claims about this vaccine that obviously, based upon your statements, you know nothing about. And so that's one of the things I wanted to bring up, how ignorant that some of those statements were, is that there is no value and there is no you know, higher morality when you start downplaying this importance of a vaccine and, and, and spreading your, your potentially dangerous words to other people, telling them that this is a bogus vaccine, this and that. You may not be telling people not to take it, but what kind of message are you sending to those who are very much impressionable by your words and by your statement? And let me go ahead and show you guys exactly what he said. So this is a, some of the things he said on Twitter. Hi, I'm Cole Beasley and I'm not vaccinated. I will be outside doing what I do. I'll be out in the public. If you're scared of me, then steer clear. Or get vaccinated. Point blank period. He further went on to say, I'm not going to take meds for a leg that isn't broken. I'd rather take my chances with COVID and build my immunity that way. Eat better, drink water, exercise and do what I think is necessary to be a healthy individual. That is my choice based on my experience and what I think is best. So let's think about those remarks that you saw on screen. I'm not going to take medicine for a leg that isn't broken. Think about that. How stupid of a comment that it is because you having a broken leg doesn't affect other people. It doesn't cause other people to have a broken leg. You having the viral load inside you potentially causes someone else to catch the virus from you and who may not be as healthy as you potentially get them severely sick and potentially death. That's the difference, dummy. So to say that you're not going to take meds for a broken leg that you don't have, that's not the same thing. That is absolutely stupidity. And the fact that you're saying, I'm going to eat better and drink water to build your immunity, that's fine. But you know what? You tell me as much as you drink better and drink water, you've never had a cold, you never had the flu. This is 10 times worse than that. That's why people all over the world drop dead. That's why people have gotten so sick that some never survived COVID-19. And so for you to say that, oh, also that, well, I'm going to be out doing what I do. And if you don't like it, stay away from me. How about you stay away from other people? If you're just going to blatantly not follow the rules, because obviously you're special and the rules don't apply to you. That I'm just going to be doing what I do. And to me, that's code for I'm not going to wear a face mask because I'm special, you know, because, you know, I, I have these beliefs. And these belief systems are probably rooted in this hypocritical political bias. And don't be surprised if it's coming from a, a Trumplican point of view, obviously, in my opinion. I could be wrong, but that's my opinion. And I'm going to do what I want to do because I'm Cole Beasley and I want to do and forget about you and stay cl steer clear from me, y'all. Stay clear. You know, that's basically what he's saying. You know, and that's just BS. That is pure BS. You know, I spoke to other reporters. In particular, I spoke to Vinny Bonsignor from the Las Vegas Review Journal. And he was very upset by this as well. And he actually sent... 
a tweet out to quote Beasley and basically said that most of his statements were ignorant. They're ignorant claims and ignorant statements. If you don't want to affect other people and you think about yourself and yourself only, keep doing what you're doing. But don't sit there and continue to tell people that other people feel the same way you do. Don't worry about other people just like you're telling us not to worry about him. You don't worry about other people and start making claims that, oh, I'm not the only one that feels this way. Everybody else feels this way. There's a lot of people in the NFL that feel this way. Speak for yourself and yourself only because that's what you're asking us to do is that we do what we want to do and let you do what you want to do. But what you want to do is potentially affecting other people. That's the difference. So keep it here on Zenny62. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I want to reiterate, these are just my opinions. If you don't like it, that's fine. You can make your comments. Try to be respectful. I thought I was a little bit respectful. I know I got angry there, but hey, you know, let's hope that he doesn't get the vaccine and he doesn't pass it on to his family. Because as I mentioned, as, as re dumb as those remarks are to me, I still want to want this guy to get COVID-19 or pass along to anybody else, especially if he does have a family. Again, keep it here on Zenny62. Don't forget to like and subscribe.